Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me today in Mini Metro. These videos have actually been doing pretty well on the channel here, so I'm going to keep plugging along on the cities. We're going to be checking out Melbourne today. We're going to be joining the districts of Melbourne with a network of slow but steady trams. Looks like I had a pretty good high score last time I played, 1,327. So let's see if we can beat that. We didn't do so hot in Berlin last time, 755. We beat my high score, but only by like 10 or 15, not too much. Uh, so let's hop into Melbourne and see if we can do better. As always, if this is your first video on Mini Metro, let me give you a quick explanation of how the game works. You got to move passengers from one station to another station, so squares to the square stations, circles to the circle stations, triangles to the triangle stations. Game's pretty easy to learn how to play, but it gets very challenging very quickly. It looks like we already have a station popping up here. And we're going to have to use one of our bridges down here to cross that river. And we'll go ahead and do that. We'll have this orange, dark orange line connect all four stations right now. And it should be able to handle the, the volume. As we progress, more passengers will start to spawn. And we will need to do a little bit more. We have a triangle spawning over here. Let's go ahead and start another line. And just for funsies, we'll have it do something like this. So it's going to kind of crisscross there in that helix, and our trams will be moving our passengers from one side of Melbourne to the other. Now eventually, uh, see here we go, we'll have to do another bridge crossing here. Let's, uh, let's do something like that. Keep it nice and balanced. You want to try and alternate your shapes so you don't have like, let's say, five circles in a row. That becomes very hard on your stations because when they build up too many people, you will fail the game. We're going to have the orange line come up there. So we do have two circles in a row. Not terrible, but we don't want to do that for too long. So at the end of the week, you do get some rewards. You always get a new train or tram in this case. And then we can pick between a carriage. So we can add a second carriage to one of our trams or two bridges. We only have one bridge left. Uh, let's go ahead and do... Let's go ahead and get more bridges just in case we have to come over here or there's quite a few rivers it looks like we'll have to be crossing. I'm going to go ahead and take one tram and put it on this orange line because that orange line looks like it's filling up pretty quickly just to help alleviate some of that stress so we don't get too far behind as the game progresses. Looks like we've moved about 57 people right now. Uh, let's go ahead and have the green line grab this circle here. So we got two circles in a row in each line. Again, not ideal, but that is what it is. Up to 66 people moved, and we're about halfway through the week on to Thursday right now, playing at about double speed. Mm, another circle. So we have another line. I might, we could kind of do something like that. I know, I see you. Let's just go ahead and have, hmm, how do I want to do this? For now, let's just go ahead and have this line kind of run, run through here. There's a nice triangle there. Let's go ahead and pause. Now, luckily, we're not in hardcore mode. If I was in hardcore mode, I couldn't move any of these lines. So what I'm going to do is we're going to take this orange line, and we're going to reroute it up to that triangle. And then we're going to have our emerald line, I guess. I'm going to call this an emerald color. Kind of hit all these circles. And then I'm going to have it loop back around and hit that square. And that way we can hopefully move quite a few people over to that square. And then the orange and this lime green line or whatever color you want to call it will take care of that. So we're dropping off a lot of triangles there. That's okay. I wonder if I could just have it, I could have it come over there. No, we'll, we'll take it to the square. All right, we'll take our new tram and a new line because if we have something spawned down here, we might just have another line kind of cross here, grab the triangle and square there. All right, we have our first special shape. Looks like we're getting a pentagon, so we'll have our dark orange line pick that up. Perfect. I might go ahead and put, should I put a second tram on this dark, or our emerald line? Um, light green line will pick that circle up there. Yeah, let's go ahead and put another, because this is spawning quite a bit. Uh, I should have had that run in reverse. That's okay. They'll just kind of follow each other. Maybe, let's just do that. We'll do that, because they can drop their triangles off there. All right, orange line, you're going to go there. Perfect. This station is starting to fill up. You can see as that bar fills up, it tells you, you know, the closer you are to failing. Looks like we're at 190 people moved. That's good. And here we go, another square out there. So we're going to have our lime green line 
end here and we'll have it cross but then we're going to bring it there yeah i know you're starting to fill up that's okay almost through the week so i think we will obviously get another tram and then maybe we'll take a carriage if that's an option we'll take the tram and yeah we'll take the carriage and then we're going to put a carriage on probably one of the emerald trains we'll put it on that guy there a diamond way out here let's have yeah let's do this we'll have it run into that triangle and then hit the circle and then come down to the square Ooh, that emerald line uh i don't want it to hit that circle okay lime green line will take that circle there and then we have another circle there let's have the orange line grab that and actually let's just go ahead and loop the orange line so it can just kind of make a big circuit perfect all right, 281 people moved, 282 people moved. We're doing okay so far. I wonder if, well, he's gonna pick those up. Okay, we're doing okay there. I like this uh, purplish line, kind of how it's set up. It's gonna be it's gonna be the only one moving the diamonds, but it has a pretty short route, so I'm not terribly concerned on that. And speaking of, um, I guess that's also a diamond as well. Let's have our orange line grab that because he's kind of the only one out there. It does have two trams on it, so that makes it a little bit easier. And we're on to a new week. We'll take the tram. We got two bridges left, so let's just go ahead and grab another line. I wonder if we should do something like boom, boom. Well, okay, we'll have the purple line grab that. All right, what do I want to do? I think we leave it as it is for now. Anyways, as always, I would love to hear from you guys, so leave a comment on down below on video quality, audio quality, commentary quality, really anything. Let me know how I'm doing. I always appreciate the feedback. We're just getting back into the swing of things. Uh, this is, you know, the fourth or fifth video I've done since I've kind of started re-recording, or sorry, started recording again, not re-recording. Uh, let's have our... Our emerald line pick up that triangle there and then I might take our this light blue line well I could loop let's go ahead and loop that there we go so now we're out of bridges but this is gonna start running in a loop that might make it a little bit easier on the flow of things 465 people move doing okay anyways back to the comments just let me know I got thick skin you guys aren't gonna hurt my feelings if I suck and you don't want to listen to my videos anymore well one you could just stop watching them but two let me know how to fix them I would uh, greatly appreciate that. All right, let's pick up a tram and two new bridges there. So most of our lines are doing okay. We'll go ahead and put this circle on our emerald line. Yeah, I think we're, we're in good shape so far. 532 people moved. We got two more trams we could add to a line. We might add a tram. Let's go ahead and add a tram to the purple line here, uh, just because it is starting to build up a little bit. And we have a football up here on the orange line. So let's go ahead and add that football there. And just because this orange line is getting pretty long, and we're going to have this train run in reverse, or that tram run in reverse, to help uh, alleviate some of the congestion there. This spot is starting to build up a little bit, but we do have that tram with carriages on it. All right, orange line's going to pick that up. Good thing we got three trams on that. Already Friday, 620 people moved, cruising right along at double speed here. All right, no no high stress points that I'm seeing right now. And it's Saturday night, so we should be getting our reward here momentarily for making it through the week. All right, purple line's gonna pick up that circle there. Green line probably could use some help, so I think this next time, or this next tram, we will go ahead and put on the light green line. Uh, and let's do that and then we're gonna go ahead and put that carriage there because he does kind of cross quite a bit just to help out so he'll start moving some people from there pick up that diamond and away we go so he'll drop that diamond off at one of these spots Ooh, a triangle to break up all these circles perfect we'll put that under our emerald line to help with that even though these seem to be mostly spawning squares and now our emerald line is getting kind of long but that's okay I have another line I could kind of like run through all this that just changed shapes i don't remember what it originally was but now we have a di or a star there next to our diamond uh, yep that thing's starting to overload with squares but luckily he's going to drop off a lot of those squares at his next stop perfect so is he going to drop squares off there so it seems like our emerald line is dropping off a lot of squares right there uh which is okay 
as long as our light green line or lime line or whatever color I've been calling it is able to handle that. 885 people moved, 890, about to hit 900. Very nice. Uh, Sunday night, so we should be getting our next reward here momentarily. I think we'll be putting another tram on this emerald line just to speed things along. Yep, we'll take the tram. And um, we really don't need either of these. Let's go ahead and take the bridges. We're gonna pause for a second. We'll have the orange line hook there. And then let's go ahead, we got a train there. Where is the other emerald train? Right there. So let's just put it, we'll put it kind of right here. All right, and along it goes and it'll start to pick up some of these people for us. That station is filling up rather precariously. A couple diamonds there too. We, uh, almost to a thousand people. Purple line's doing well, carrying all that. Yeah, I see you there, it's chirping at me. And he's gonna blow through that. So that line, this might be, let's have our green line go ahead and light green line go through there just to help out. See if he'll pick up anything. Nope, hurry up train, pick up your three passengers. Come on, you got it, you can do it. All right, so that's gonna save that station there. Good, good, good. So instead of dropping off a bunch of squares there, hopefully this will help alleviate some of that. All right, orange line, you can go up there. All right, that thing's gonna pick up a bunch of squares, but he's gonna drop off some squares. All right, that changed to a plus sign. 1,145 people moved so far. Doing okay. Yeah, I know, that station's chirping. We need like a, a, a central terminal, or I forgot exactly what it's called, but you can make it a little bit bigger. Uh, that way it can hold more people. So he's probably not gonna pick anything up. This might be our end here. Uh, we'll take the tram and then let's just take the line. We're gonna pause and we're gonna put this tram going into that station just so we don't fail there. Perfect, all right, he's gonna pick up quite a few people. They're gonna, but they dropped off quite a few people. That's okay, that guy's gonna pick some up. This station's starting to chirp up there. 1,250 moved. We're getting a little tighter, but we seem to be doing okay. Yep, I see you there. I see you there. Uh, I really don't want our light green line to run out there, but it's gonna have to. Uh, okay, that station is probably going to finish us here because these are all full up and that's okay. Well, hopefully we can run our score up just a little bit before we end. And here it comes, here comes the axe swing. 1,372, was that our final number? Yep, passengers move. That's a pretty good number. That's a lot more than what we started with. What was it, like 500, 600? I, I can't quite remember what the exact number is, but that's okay. We did a lot better than we did last time here in Melbourne over the course of uh, 60 days using trams. So again, as always, comments down below. Let me know how you think the video went, what you liked, what you didn't like. I would appreciate any and all feedback uh, here on Mini Metro or any of my videos. Let me know what you think. Got a game you want me to check out? Leave that down there as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next Tooth and Scrubs video.